guys, Olina with iFoodReal.com here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Ukrainian borscht. People around the world are cooking Ukrainian food right now and I grew up in Ukraine eating my grandma's borscht every single week. So this is her recipe. It is super simple. It can be vegetarian or with meat and it's super easy to make. And make sure to stay till the end uh, where we would do a taste test and I'm going to show you my favorite way to eat borscht. You don't want to miss that. Let's do it. We start with shredding the cabbage. So you want to rinse it and remove the outer leaves. And then I just cut it in half and you slowly start shredding on the corner side. And the size of the shreds you want not too wide, but not too thin, like for coleslaw either, because you don't want the cabbage disappear and melt in borscht. And cabbage core is a childhood favorite. It was our snack. I knew when grandma or mom were making borscht, we get a core, we love it. So then you chop the onion and this is how I do it. It works for me. I know there are many rules, but I like to peel it and then dice it, easy peasy. And if you noticed, my potatoes are cubed in a bowl with cold water. It helps to keep them uh, from browning. Then as for beets, um, you have to peel them and then slice into thin shreds. I know some recipes call for grated, but my grandma always shredded. Okay, now you're ready to start cooking. You want to saute the onion and carrots first for four to five minutes. This gives them flavor. And we had a pot of, with water, or if you're making meat version, uh, with broth and meat going before that. Then you want to cook the cabbage first and at the same time as you are um, cooking the vegetables in a skillet. Add a few bay leaves and whole peppercorns. And notice I added some beet leaves because I had them and they're good, they're healthy, and that's fiber and health. So then we add beets to the skillet and saute for a couple of minutes. And then we add a whole can of um, tomato paste. My mom always liked to add flour as well to thicken the borscht, but I personally don't like that. I'm making my grandma's recipe. So then this is called zajarka. Um, that's in Russian, Ukrainian. So once that is ready, you add it to the pot with cabbage and potatoes, and then you add salt and pepper. Everything is eyeballed. I have a recipe, recipe card with all exact measurements, but honestly, when I cook borscht, I eyeball everything. Stir, and then you want to cover and reduce heat to low and simmer borscht, I would say for about 20, 30, 40 minutes. It really depends how old is your cabbage. And many people don't know what fresh dill looks like, so here it is. Meet it. It's added to all Ukrainian dishes, pretty much. So now our borscht cooked. And this is sweet and savory, um, sweet and sour soup. So I'm adding maple syrup. You can add sugar and white vinegar and a lot of garlic. Oh, this is the best. And then, of course, a lot of dill. So you want to add dill and garlic when soup is done. Like you turn off heat and you add it after, you don't add it before, because if you add it before, it's gonna cook, become brown, and the flavor will disappear. And then you stir it. And that's pretty much it. And fun fact is that in our house, we had five women in Ukraine and everyone made their borscht differently. And um, there are many versions with beans and without meat and with bacon and with green onions lots but this is my grandma's recipe then to serve it traditionally we served it with sour cream I'm using Greek yogurt you can use sour cream and I'm gonna show you how me and my cousin ate borscht so we would take a piece of rye bread and here I have toasted whole um, grain toast and then we would rub it with a clove of garlic cut it in half so it becomes garlicky bread then you spread sour cream or yogurt in it and you put salt on top and um, that was really like our toast. We loved it with borscht. And now I have two garlic cloves on the side. This is the traditional way to eat borscht. If you're not leaving your house, you should try it. So you take um, a spoonful of borscht, then you bite on a garlic clove. I swear, it's so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so Ukrainian when I look at this. And then you take a bite of a toast and this whole explosion in your mouth is insane. Like I am obsessed with borscht. We grew up eating it 
absolutely every single week. We all love borscht. My kids love borscht, and I go. I hope you guys love it too. So good.